What's going on everyone? It's King Says Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch another video of mine. The plugin that I'm going to show you, which is the Surface Tracker from Pixel Film Studios. So this video is sponsored by Pixel Film Studios. So big thanks to Pixel Films for sponsoring uh, today's video. Now you guys can use the code KingPixelPro for a nice special discount if you guys go in the link down in the description. Now if I go into the titles and go to the titles right here which is the surface tracker you can add this one or you can go into the effects and go to the uh, the final cut pro 10 surface tracker feature and drag the effect directly onto that clip the difference being that the effects here is going to apply to the whole clip whereas the surface tracker only applies it to the title so I'm going to do the titles, uh, the title surface tracker, and I'm going to drag that directly on above the clip here. And I'm going to go to open editor and a new window is going to open just like this. Now what you want to do from this point is, is move the time head or the playhead to wherever it's the most flat and it's facing forward toward the camera. And I want to make our uh, the selection. So you can either click and drag to make a selection, a rectangular selection, or you can use the circle icon here in the points control to make a round uh, selection pretty much or to add the points. Now what you can do is, uh, now this one I'm going to show you first. So I'm going to use this to ma add my points. I'm going to click and drag down just like that. And now I'm going to add a couple more here towards the top. So once you're at this point, what you want to do is increase either the point distance. Now you can decrease the point distance and this will add like a lot of points. And if you add like, let's say 500, there's going to be, or let's reset that to 50, there's going to be less points. So if we increase this to 114, fewer points, if we drag it to 20, there's going to be a lot of points. I just keep it how it is at 50 uh, pixels. So this is the selection tool so you can click to delete some points you can also uh, highlight them to delete them and if we go down to the pre-track controls we're going to click on track assist filter and so if we increase the amount you're going to see all of the texture within this clip or this frame I, I suppose so everything where there's a lot of lines is texture that's where it's a good place to add anywhere else like right here it's not a good place to add a logo or a video a sticker whatever you have um, just uh, letting you guys know so I'm going to reset that so the search window allows you to it allows the program to kind of calculate beforehand how fast the subject is coming into frame and how quick it needs to track that subject so we're gonna have 373 I think it's fine depending on how fast the movement is in this case there's not that quick of a movement in this clip so we can leave it how it is you can also reset those by clicking this reset button the post tracking controls will do that after so what we're going to do is we're going to click on the forward button and now it's going to track forward all of the frames in this case the horse some of these points are moving and that's okay most of my point is going to be here however we can uh, delete these towards the end and i'll show you how to do that so that's going to finish off like this and we can delete these by clicking on them and deleting them because that will affect our mesh after so we go back you're going to see that how it looks like so I'm gonna move it back and I'm going to now push the back track button so this will track forward so we're gonna track everything that we haven't tracked yet and it's going to track it like so it's going to track pretty much the movement of the surface of this horse and it's gonna adjust it accordingly so it's gonna finish right now perfect so now if I skim through with the playhead you're gonna see what it looks like really really cool now what I want to do is move it maybe around here. And now with the post tracking controls, we're going to click on smooth amount. We can go two, three, or four, or five, or you can click and adjust this as well. I'm going to leave, reset that, and I'm going to click on smooth track data. What this does, it pretty much smooths out the tracking points. So it's a little smoother and more realistic. The mesh controls, once you have where you think it's the most flat auto triangulate mesh, this will create a mesh system that allows the program pretty much to know what it's where to actually add the drop zone or the video the picture whatever you're going to add now we're going to click apply mesh on this frame now if we click on stabilized this will show you what the the tracking is going to look like i'm going to disable that and you can also toggle the drop zone so we can now turn off the track assist filter 
And if we go to post processing, we can increase the motion blur. I only need to increase it a little bit to about 0 0.3 or something. The more you increase that, the more blur there's going to be. And it's a little harder to read whatever you're adding on there. Uh, we have software options. You can turn off the on-screen points. You can change the point color. So you can change this to like yellow, green, or blue. And you can also change the selected color. So if we select that, you can change that to like red or something. And then now what I'm going to do is click export data. This will export this to the Final Cut Pro 10 program pretty much. And now what we're going to do is we can scroll through and see what it looks like. So there's a little drop zone area. So what we're going to do is go to the drop zone and you would go to your project window wherever you have the clip added, which is going to be this one. It's just a green screen clip. Okay. And I'm going to just like this. Just make sure that what you're adding is a PNG or transparent with the green screen. Just drag this green screen. Let's say I wanted to add this. You would just go to the effects, go to King, go to Keyer. And that will get rid of the green screen and then right click and create new compounds clip click OK you can delete that and then now you have your transparent background so you can add it on there and that's pretty much what I did so now I'm gonna go to the drop zone select the discovery channel clip click apply clip perfect so now we're gonna go towards the beginning and I'm gonna go to the drop zone controls you can change the opacity so I'm going to first scale this down I'm going to pan this or move this to the right and I'm going to change the Y, which the Y axis, which controls up and down. I'm going to make this a bit smaller. And I'm going to move this to the left, like so. And you can also rotate this if you want and change the opacity if you wanted to blend this in a little bit better. I'm just going to leave it how it is. Now, if I go back and I push play, it looks just like that, which looks kind of funny, kind of nice. It kind of creates a really cool effect for your, your music videos, your vlogs, or whatever you're trying to add. Just make sure that there's texture that you're adding it to. So if you're using a white shirt, that might not work very well. However, it's a, if it's a patterned shirt, that could work. Um, so something like this could work just fine. So if you guys found this video helpful, please leave a like, guys. Subscribe. Turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on a video like this. Also, be sure to use my coupon code, KingPixelPro for a nice special discount down in the description for you guys. Um, until next time, peace out.